Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you guys so much for tuning back into our Town Hall 12 farm to max. Um, guys, this clan games was amazing. I mean, we got some awesome stuff in our clan games, including a dark elixir rune, which is fantastic. So we're going to definitely use that today. Plus, I've also got a book of heroes, and I've got a king that is just really far away from max. So we got to get some upgrades going on with the king. Also, guys, if you look at this base, I'm only a few walls away from all level 12. I always forget. Yeah, that that is, that is level 12. Awesome. So, guys, Guys, we're just trucking right along. I've also got two builders available, so I really need to get another gold upgrade going, but I don't quite have enough. So, you know, that is one of the struggles I've heard. Everybody, every single person that I've talked to this Town Hall 12 is like, bruh, everything is expensive at Town Hall 12. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's brutal, man. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get as much gold as possible, but I probably will have to do the next gold upgrade off camera, but luckily it's a two week upgrade. It's not like you guys are gonna miss it or anything like that. I do like to keep you guys up to date on what I'm doing with my account and um, you know, just keep you guys in the know. So here we go, guys, amazing base, amazing base. 3,600 Dark Elixir, I'm in Champion League, so the loot bonus is pretty dang good, plus, I don't even know how to read that guy's name. I'm really sorry, my dude. But check out these walls. Check out these walls. Unfortunately, I've got miners. So the miners don't care about walls. Um, but I kind of wish that they did, just because it'd be fun to watch them blast through these level 7 and level 8 walls. But they've got um, pretty solid level Infernal Towers, pretty solid level Eagle Artillery. I say that we come straight from the top. I've got my Queen Walk. So I'm going to set the Queen Walk right up here. And I've got a bunch of wall breakers. I'm thinking if I can maybe get a Rage Spell. I can, uh, let's actually rage and let's drop all of our wall breakers right there. Check this out. Watch this. Boom. I'm also going to get some poison spells on this, uh, come on. Yes. Dude. Oh, baby. Wall breakers did amazing, guys. They did amazing. All right. So now the, um, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, that, w that wizard just saved our lives, guys. I put the wizard in front of the queen to keep the queen from running outside, and it actually worked out. So that's really, really good. So now, oh, giant bomb. Brutal. So brutal. All right, well, let's get that race ball on that queen. I was a little bit worried. I wanted to heal her up. I also want the queen to swing in, and I want that queen to get that eagle artillery. All right, that's what I'm all about right now. So let's get that queen in there. Queen, don't worry about the army camp. Army camp, don't care. Army camp, don't care. Oh, and now, now she cares about the mortar. Okay, maybe the queen. Oh, she's going to break in, guys. This is bad. She's going to die. She is so going to die here in a minute. All right, let's get... Uh, Let's get the CC. Let's get a bunch of miners going through here. Get the Grand Warden. What I'm doing now is I'm trying to get the miners through there before the queen dies. All right, I'm going to pop her ability right now. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. All right, and then she turns around. This is good. So she's actually targeted and taken out the Inferno Tower. This is perfect, guys. And let's pop that Warden's ability. And oh, man, guys, I think this worked. I can't believe that this actually worked. This is glorious, guys. I'm going to get that last heal spell down. So now, this is what I was worried about. I was worried about that single targeting Inferno roasting our queen. But it worked. We got the queen in before the, um, or we got the Inferno's in, or the miners in before the Inferno killed my queen. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, yes. The queen is a genius. Did you guys see that? The queen was dying. She was getting roasted by the Inferno, and then the, she walked away from the, the Inferno. That was amazing, guys. That was just amazing. Let's see if there's any corner buildings. I've got a few more mine or a few more wizards left. I'll go ahead and start kind of tightening things up, wiping this base out. And I've also got a CC heal. I'm gonna hold on to that CC heal spell. I don't even need it. That is amazing. And the last building that Dark Barracks is gonna go down. There is your three star, guys. We got lucky. We got so lucky. So many moments where we got lucky. It was amazing. But there we go with that loot bonus of almost, not over, but almost. Ah, oh, that would have been cool. 700,000 golden elixir. That's great. That's what we need. And then the dark elixir. Wow. Over 4,850 dark elixir. Oh, baby. That's really, really solid, guys. Now, unfortunately, I've got a I've got a problem. My queen, 15 minutes till she wakes up. And I do have a queen walk army. So I do need, you know what? No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna straight up do a queen walk army without the queen. All right, if you guys want to see how that's done, if you haven't seen it in previous videos, I'll show you in just a moment. But before we do that, oh, I can't even request for CC. I've got a five minute wait on my CC. That's terrible. All right, well while we wait, while we wait, let's check out a replay, and then I'm gonna do some major upgrades, guys. So stick around for the rest of the video. Now 4,500. This was 
Um, yeah, this was the first minor attack that our first minor army that I started using. Again, guys, highly prioritizing Dark Elixir because my last hero I need to upgrade is the king. He does require Dark Elixir to upgrade. So I found this base, really low level tunnel, uh, tunnel 12 once again, and over 4,000 Dark Elixir plus that Champion League loot bonus. This base is over five grand, all right? Just over five grand. Nobody, nobody's gonna deny five grand, all right? So we got ourselves a wall wrecker. He's taking on the blast from all that. Look at that, 11 wall breakers. Why in the world do I have 11 wall breakers with a minor army? I, I just don't understand. I just didn't get that. I just didn't understand that. But hey, the wall breakers are breaking open so many sections that it's just beautiful. So all the miners are now kind of in one spot. I've got my warden covering them just like the previous attack. We're going to get that town hall. And I don't know. I don't remember the queen or the miners. One of them are going to get that dark witch storage or they might work together. That's a good question. Who is going to get the work done? By the way, there's that level 30. Grand Warden's Eternal Tome ability. Doing good work there. I've still got both of my rage spells, by the way. So that queen, there we go. Drop that rage spell down. Queen's going to survive. She's going to hook around because she wants to get in on this king action down here, but she was too late. Our king took care of it. Good job, Bruno, you beast. You're awesome, my dude. Now check this out. We got the king absorbing a single target in Inferno. He does die. Unfortunately up there, but all the miners, I mean, they're, they're just so powerful, guys. Unless you're going up against like a max 12, these miners are so powerful. And even if you go up against the max 12, by the way, queen walk ability, boom, taking out that infernal tower. That's amazing. But yeah, even if you're hitting a max 12, you're still going to do great. These miners are beautiful and they're a fantastic dark Elix farming strategy. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to max my king, max Bruno, before we, um, before we start messing around with maybe some heavier Dark Elixir farming armies, or maybe start pushing or do whatever. I don't even know what we're going to do, but there goes the last defense, and there's like 5,000 heal, uh, healed miners, by the way, um, left in the attack. So there you go, guys. 4,500 dark plus loot bonus. That was probably over 5,500, honestly, but over 5,000. The gold and the elixir over, because remember the last time we saw the loot bonus of gold and elixir was 200,000. So that's 360,000 gold and elixir all together. Pretty solid, guys. And I don't know why I had 11 wall breakers. Why did I have 11 wall breakers? I have no idea. I just don't have a clue, guys. But anyway, let's now get rid of this tree. No, I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to make you sit and wait for that. So what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade the king. Again, guys, I showed you at the beginning of the video. We've got a dark elixir rune. We need to use that baby. We got a, uh, a, a book of heroes. We need to use that baby. So... Let's do it. I've got enough Dark Elixir to upgrade the king already. That's going to drop us to zero. That's the best time to use your runes. And it's going to be exciting, guys. So let's go and do this, guys. Upgrade this king to level 53. Bruno getting fatter every single day. Let's do this, guys. 206,000 Dark Elixir in three, two, one. Bam. Nice. All right, then I do have this book of heroes. Let's go ahead and use it up. By the way, guys, if you're seeing my gem count, I'm, I'm currently sitting on 13,000 gems. Um, I did buy 14,000 gems. It was sponsored by one of my patrons. So shout out to you. You know who you are. Thank you for the gems. Um, just because it's funny because he messaged me. He's like, whoa, why isn't your tunnel 12 in war? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm upgrading a king. And he's like, dude, I will pay the gems if you just don't, if you, if you just stay in war. Because we need you in war. I like you being in the war. Don't opt out of war. <laughs> I'm like, who's going to say no to that, right? So he's he's offered to pay for my gems. So I'm going to do it. So Book of Heroes, guys, finish this king up. Level 53, waking up in 3, 2, 1, bam. And there you go, guys. Now what we have to do, what we get to do is we are going to use the Dark Elixir rune. Going from 3,000 Dark Elixir to 240,000. Let's do this in 3, 2, 1, bam. Oops, my bad. Anticlimactic in 3, 2, 1, bam. There you go. Now we're sitting on max Dark Elixir storage. And now I don't have a Book of Heroes, but check it out. I got lucky this morning. I was looking at this. I was trying to think, how am I going to do this? Um, and I found this book of heroes sitting in the uh, in the trader, guys. Make sure and check a trader. By the way, I have a free training potion waiting for me if I choose to use a training potion. I think it's a good idea to use them because sometimes you get free free training potions in your trader. So let's go and do this, guys. Um, to gem a seven day upgrade for the heroes is normally a thousand gems, so this is half price. Smart, right? Fifty percent discount. Let's go. Three, two, one, bam. All right, and then I'm going to upgrade the king again because we can't go farm. We can't go hit a base if we have max Dark Elixir storage. It just doesn't work that way. So let's do this. King Bruno going to level 54, guys. I mean, we have a long way to go, but every little bit counts. So every little bit helps, right? So 209,000 Dark Elixir 7 day upgrade. Once again, will not be waiting for that, baby. No, no, no. Let's do this in 3, 2, 1. Bam. 
And then of course we have the Book of Heroes just purchased for 500 gems. Let's do this in three, two, one, BAM! How'd you like that hype, guys? There you go, the king upgraded and done level 54. Now, of course, we're um, we're down to 31,000 Dark Elixir, so we need to get a little while, or we need to advance a bit, because, hey, our laboratory's done in four days and 10 hours, and I have a lot that I could do in the laboratory, so definitely need to keep that in mind, or at least hold on to my Elixir so that I can upgrade something in the lab if I don't farm enough uh, Dark Elixir. So let's go ahead and hit a base, guys, again, using a Queen Walk army without the queen. How is this going to go? Stay tuned. Let me try to find a base that we could actually pull something off. Pull a rabbit out of the hat because that's what we're going to need. We're going to find a rabbit in our hat. See? See this hat? I'm going to try to pull a rabbit out of it. You guys ready? Okay, um, there was no rabbit in the hat, but we're gonna try to pull this baby off, try to get some loot without our queen, and this is Imprax. Everyone say hello to Imprax. Over half a million gold, almost half a million elixir, and 5,000 lovely, beautiful drops of dark elixir. We need to have it all. That's what we're gonna go for today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to send in a wall wrecker. No CC, just to start doing some tanking. So let's get that baby in there. Very, very nice. All right, and then I'm gonna get the uh, the king and I'm gonna get the miners. And we're gonna do like a very nice like four finger deployment there. There we go. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. There's our healers. There is our warden. There's our wall breakers. There's our miners. There we go, guys. Everybody is in. Need to make sure we're healing very nicely. Although we have the grand warden, he's doing the work. Um, we still don't want to. Uh, we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to take any chances. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and heal over this. And I need that storage, dark elixir storage, people. Come on. I'm going to heal that over there, and I'm going to get a rage in the core. We've got to get that dark out of the storage, and we did. Oh, we just pulled a rabbit right out of that hat. That was awesome, guys. And the last of the Dark Elixir that we need is sitting in that little drill right there, baby. And it looks like we got to... Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That one... Look at that one little healer, dude. That one little healer is just doing it, man. Getting us through. Taking out all that Dark Elixir. And are we about to three-star? No way, dude. There's no way we're about to triple a base without a queen with a queen walk army. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm saying. We pulled the rabbit out of the hat. We did something that we did not expect. Unfortunately, it was it was empty. But hey, it's still a three-star. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So that is over 780,000 gold. Lots of elixir. And actually, with that loot bonus, over 6,000. 6,000 dark elixir, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. So that is the type of beautiful... Beautiful. What is that? Beautiful, beautiful raids that I love to see. And that is how we get the loot. So let's go into our progress base just to kind of, again, get a grip. We always like to do this at the end of the episodes. Farm to max. Been going for three years now. Um, get a grip of what we're doing. So right now I've got one um, air defense that's still going. We got over, we got almost eight days to go until that air, air defense is done, which is pretty terrible. Um, the other wizard tower has nearly 11 days to go. And I've got another thing upgrading. What am I upgrading? Hidden Tesla. Oh, yeah. The fifth Hidden Tesla you get at Tunnel 12 is now going to be level nine in just under two days. So good. Everything is, is looking good there. If I add my way, if I had max gold right now, I would upgrade another Wizard Tower because I'm kind of doing the air defenses one at a time. So I've got about a week until I can do another air defense. So this little baby here will be our next target. But of course, the main priorities are to get the king to max level 60, to get the laboratory going to, you know, finishing up. That's we got we to wait. Tunnel 12 takes for freaking ever. So that is the big problem. I would I would love, 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 love to get a few more walls done. Again, we're only eight walls away. Or is that six? We're only six walls away. That is only six times four is 24. 24 million loot to go until we are done with level 12 walls and we finally can crank out some level 13, but I, I can't spare the loot right now. I need the elixir for my laboratory and I need the gold for another defense because I've got two builders sitting and I don't like it. I just don't like it. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit hard on my workers. As you can see, my builders are working 24-7 for the past, again, like I said, three flipping 
years. So, guys, that's how I'm farming my Derek Elixir. That Queen Walk Miner is so powerful. Looking forward to trying out some more strategies in this series. But for now, that is going to have to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Like it if you enjoyed me pulling a rabbit out of my hat. Because we just got a three-star with a Queen Walk army without a queen. How crazy is that? Again, like the video. Subscribe. Join the class family if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.